Third Eye Storytelling presents an original podcast series. Bulletborn, Episode 1, Scarbeck Tower, written by Arch Stanton. I see when I look at the skeletal remains of the world below. What's that, Mr. Scarbeck? I see a world full of our fellow human beings struggling to survive. I see a world full of people begging to be put out of their misery. Always so full of sunshine and optimism, ain't you, Mr. Scarbeck? Just come with me, Marcus. Let me show you. Just look down there. The world. The valley below. It's not just people down there anymore. There are monsters down there. Demons. So do you. That means the people remaining down there are begging to be put out of their misery? Because they weren't smart enough to seek shelter in a place like this. They weren't smart enough to fortify themselves. No one down there has the common sense to plan ahead or even to know where to scavenge for supplies. They just wander around and hope for the best. What you've done here is impressive, but that doesn't mean that the people down there don't deserve to live just because they didn't have the same plan as you. Well, I will say it is entertaining to sometimes watch them as they scavenge and fend off hordes of ghouls and flesh eaters. You must take life for granted. Sitting on a throne in your high tower as a royal spectator towards the poor subjects below. I understand your conflict of heart, Marcus. You feel strongly for the people struggling now. Perhaps you should rejoin me. You bring me in just to kick me back out? Oh, I will be kicking you out, Marcus. It'll be more like throwing. Didn't approve of the new recruit, eh, Mr. Scarbeck? He felt too much for the sad sacks wallowing around the ground floor. We cannot have that here. That sucks. Kid showed promise. I'm getting real tired of this world, Johnny. It's like watching reruns down there. I need to see something new. What you need me to look for, boss? Take a team out there. Try to find something... exciting. Find something that can reignite the spark of entertainment. Hi, right, boys. Boss wants us to find him something good. <sighs> I hate these runs, Johnny. I really do. I know, Boris. We can't say no to Scarback, though. What the hell are we even looking for out here, anyway? Same thing we always looking for, Boris. Not food. Not supplies. Just the next big thing for Scarback to enjoy. 
Let's check this place out. David, Boris, you guys need to keep a lookout while I find us a way in. You take left, I take right. Remember, do not use the gun unless you absolutely have to. No need to remind me of that. This ain't my first run. I'm not having any luck finding an opening. The place is boarded up pretty good. Gonna have to break the glass. Oh, that'll certainly keep things quiet. Just get it over with. We're gonna need to move quickly in case any ghouls or mutants show up. Hey, move, move, move! sure I can keep doing these damn runs. Keep your negative thoughts to yourself. Let's just keep moving. What is this place anyway? I heard some kind of research lab. They did test on people here. Seems like a waste of time. What are we supposed to find here that's going to impress the boss? Ace in the hole. The hell are you going on about, Johnny? Heard rumors about this place from a few of the other guys. Been waiting for the right moment before checking it out. Today's the day we find out if these stories are true. Just follow me. Very good find, boys. Very good indeed. Several characters to choose from, all encased in a frozen tomb. I know you're excited and all, boss, but you need to make a choice now. This place gives me the goddamn creeps. All these corpses make me... uneasy. They ain't corpses. They're just frozen. It's hibernation. Ha! <sighs> Makes little difference to me. Men, women, and children alike... Each one with a different thought of the future that they expected to wake up to. Yet, none of them are expecting the world that they will wake up to. I found some files on each of the people in the cryopods. I think I've got the perfect candidate for you, Mr. Scarbeck. Well, please, enlighten us, David. Pod 23. His name is Jack Gates, a mercenary for the Reformed States. He was given the nickname The Reaper due to his brutal and violent techniques. The Ripper? Referencing Jack the Ripper, Johnny. An English murderer from the late 1800s. Not all the libraries of the world have been destroyed. It won't kill you to pick up a damn book every once in a while. Sounds like your kind of guy, Mr. Scarbeck. Looks like a monster of man, too. Huh. He could probably rip each of us apart with his bare hands. I cannot believe this is what it's come to. We're toying around with things we shouldn't be, Scarbeck. Do you really dare to question me, Boris? Mm, no, sir. There's something else about him you should know. The reason for him entering the cryo-freeze. Please. Share it with us. Well, like most men with violent pasts, Jack here wanted to escape it. He wanted to leave it all behind. <laughs> well, someone will surely be in for a rude awakening. David, I do believe that you did find me the perfect candidate. Thank you, sir. And I have just the idea to wake him. David, show me where the main control is. Where? 
Where is everyone? No welcome wagon? Shit! The hell happened to you, man? Poor bastard. Fresh kill, too. What the hell's going on here? Jesus! Must there be something around every corner? Welcome to the new world, Jack. What the hell? Written for me in blood, of course. The poor bastard. Of course. Empty. What's this? This is... This is my file. What the hell? I would really like to know who released me from my frozen slumber. At least my vision is back. But this place is a goddamn maze. Hello? Is anyone here? What else would I do with a recorder? Hello, Jack the Ripper Gates. I'm terribly sorry I'm unable to introduce myself to you face to face. My name is Alexander Skorbek. I am the man who freed you from your frozen tomb. Now I know that this may not be the world you were expecting to wake up to, but I was getting bored. I wanted to bring some excitement into this godforsaken wasteland. The world outside the walls as you see before you is filled with things of nightmares. But this is no bad dream, Mr. Gates. This is your world now as much as it is mine. I chose to unfreeze you because I've been looking for someone with your talents for a long time. Someone who can outwill and outlast all obstacles. I hope that you still have your wits about you, because it will take much more than muscle to survive in this hell. I look forward to observing you as you adapt to your new surroundings. I'm sure it will be very entertaining. I hope that you live long enough for me to meet you in person. Good luck out there, Jack the Ripper Gates. Ah! Damn! Where are you? Show yourself! Goddamn window. <laughs> Dear God. He was serious. It's gonna be a love, a savior, a savior. Build truth and light. We're gonna see bears all of your flaws. The world really has gone to hell.
This has been Bulletborn, Episode 1, Scarbeck Tower, written by Arch Stanton. The part of Alexander Scarbeck, voiced by Robert Hughes. Jack Gates, voiced by Richie Ammons. Johnny, voiced by Joshua Belmont. David, voiced by Thane Bell. Boris, voiced by Ryan Witchell. Marcus, voiced by Anthony Izzy. Originally composed music by Arch Stanton. Special music, 1000 Gods by Violent Joy. Remaining episodes will be recorded, published, and released after the holiday season. Until then, please follow us on social media and become a patron on Patreon to help support this recording. Thank you.